An incredible turn of events tonight with one of Michigan's top judges stepping down following a 7 Action News investigation. Yeah, and Michigan Supreme Court Justice Diane Hathaway announced she is retiring after the Michigan Judicial Tenure Committee filed a former complaint against her. Joining us, our 7 investigator Ross Jones, who broke the case, and our 7 legal analyst Tom Cranner. Thank you both for showing up this evening. So, Ross, we're going to ask you the first question. So now that she's retired, I mean, is this it? Do the complaints against her simply go away? Some of her problems go away, but most of them do not. The JTC complaint, which is filed today, goes away because they only have uh, essential they can only deal with her if she's a judge still and in two weeks she won't be anymore so that goes away the, the issues with the feds are still going on the civil forfeiture they're going after that Florida home they say she kept it because she laundered money that's still up in the air and the possibility of criminal charges are still out there let's talk to Tom about that criminal charges is that a possibility against a, a retired judge well, I think it is. Um, as Ross knows, uh, in both the Judicial Tenure Commission complaint and the civil action that he alluded to just a moment ago, uh, both the complaints are rife with allegations of federal uh, crime violations, uh, income tax evasion, money laundering, bank fraud. So I think there's certainly a possibility that uh, there may be a criminal prosecution as well. So, Ross, how long has she been mulling over retiring or not? Do you have any idea? Well, you would, you would suspect it was at least something she was thinking about when, when the feds finally stepped in formally in November. But I know she made the decision officially to pull the trigger on December 20th. That's when she started the paperwork with the state to try to get that pension going in 30 days. So about two weeks ago, she finally made the decision that she was going to retire. And we're only hearing about it today for the first time. We're getting a lot of uh, response on Facebook and Twitter. And here's uh, from Maxine Weingarten said something that a lot of people are thinking, and I don't know who maybe you can answer this if there's a legal uh, uh, behind this I bet she's get uh, getting a pension and life health care I hope not she says they should try her and find her guilty and cancel her benefits as they would do to us is that a possibility to actually lose a pension and something like this Stephen it may be uh, honestly that's not an area of my expertise but uh, certainly if a criminal prosecution results uh, as a result of this uh, I think there'll be a whole lot of things up in the air yeah thank you so so embarrassing too I right. want to thank Ross great job on the investigation as always Tom with your legal expertise we appreciate you always Thank you.